you know, we gotta bring it back to the old days. The days back when I used to start streams, like, that, like, I think, like, none of you were here for. The days where I would sit here for, like, five fucking minutes in complete ass silence with the stream starting soon thing up, just let people know, hey, we're starting soon. But I also did it with the ten minutes ahead of time, so I always started streams fifteen minutes later, just to give people a chance to show up. But I'm just like, cause I'm like, oh shit, that's what like other streamers do. They always have that like, uh, they're like, hey, we're going soon thing. I'm just like, fuck that. Like, people will know when I go live. They, the Discord's right there. If they aren't here, they aren't here. They'll learn. And we'll fill them in. I'll do what I want to do, and they legally cannot stop me. See, that's just how it is. Welcome to here now. Where was I? Oh yeah, crying. It's a lot, a lot of tears in my body. Fuck them. I'm the only viewership that matters. I forgot how stupid Peter looked. Alright, bye. <laughs> Alright, now what the fuck was I doing? I need like a, I need like a synopsis button. But like, what was my next? Apparently we're going here. I guess I was just done. For Valor! Monday, 4.57. It's nap time. The day is over. Call home. Return to boss's office to report. I didn't see her anywhere. Where did she go? Well, she isn't always here, correct? True. That f there's a fucking wind current in this room somewhere, and I'll find it. I sat down in my usual seat and decided to wait for boss. How shitty are these chairs? No, let me look down. Not helpful. What are you doing? I thought it would be easier to talk like this. What do we have to talk about? A summary of the investigation, perhaps? What summary? We don't have anything new. That's how I was with 999. That's why 999's like my favorite. Like, good God, that hit everything for me. It had a mystery, but it wasn't like only mystery. It had a bunch of atmosphere and other things going on for it. This game's kind of just mystery. That's not true. BLR was kind of just mystery, but it was also a sequel to 999 and it had good characters. Huh? I was curious, so I did some research about number 89. That happens to me a lot when I read though. I've, I've had quite a few times where I finished a book and there's just a fucking concave hole in my chest for the next like two weeks where I'm just like what purpose is there anymore? I can't see my favorite characters anymore. That doesn't happen to me with games as much anymore and I don't know why. Because I can always just come back and play the game some more typically, you know? Whose man is this? Unknown. Uh, uh, not helpful. You don't know? No such person is listed in the family registry. It is possible he is a foreigner, but his nationality is unknown. However, I believe it is safe to say that he was born and raised in Japan. Okay. Oh yeah, this fucking Unknown. guy. I cannot determine if they have any connection. Uh, oh yeah, I remember. Fucking Pewter just played the fucking pronoun game with me, and now I need to find out what this dude's fucking name is. Very cool. Approximately one month ago. Hitomi Sagan witnessed Shoko in Fuchu Prisons. We're having a lot of fucking fun with this game because everyone's being a coy bitch. Boss is incredibly suspect for being a murder lady. Just in general, not even like this murder. She's just a bitch. But then also Pewter, who's actively going underneath the cover of darkness to help me, doesn't fucking help me. I'm I need his name, asshole. The she was there to visit was number God damn it. After all, Fuchu Prison houses 2,000 inmates. But number 89 knew Shoko's name. I know who killed Shoko Nadami. Fuck out of here, uh... That must mean that he knew her somehow. That guy. It is possible. Hello. Oh, we know who he is As now. You know, he is an assassin with multiple confirmed kills. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. He is currently He's a sniper. Fuchu Prison. <laughs> he was imprisoned six years ago. That's what Pewter told us. 
After his fourth murder, he was arrested by the police. Woo. I'm also just less interested in this mur mystery than I have been in, like, even any of the other games. Like, the Danganronpa games had the mystery be, I, we just need to get the fuck out, you know? Like, there isn't a mystery at first. And then the mystery in the, the Zero Escape games is, I need to get the fuck out, but then also figure out what the fuck else is going on. Why is there timey-wimey shit? But this game, I'm just like a supernatural detective man with the, the, I just, I'm not as into it. I want it to be a normal detective thing, not a fucking timey-wimey bullshit there were one. two culprits behind the original serial killings. What yeah, I'm just saying, the is, there's not that, like, Kumakura's inherent drive, you know? I mean, I want to save people, yeah, but it's not as, as compelling as, holy shit, I'm gonna but die. Gohan committed suicide last year. Or be stuck here forever, which both Danganronpa and the Zero Escape all do, is the I'm gonna be stuck here forever. But number 89 couldn't possibly have committed these crimes. He was in jail when each of the murders occurred. Correct. I'm saying there's less of a drive. However... I do not believe it is accurate to claim that he had nothing to do with the incident. Like, if this game was way more grounded, I'd like it so much more. Like, cut down on the anime, cut down on the magic. I, I don't need- I, I'm alright with Aiba, but she doesn't need to be a fucking psychic projection shrimp, you know? I know who killed Shogun Adami. Yeah, but Ace Attorney is fast, the though. Truth. The whole point of those games is it's not one possible. mystery, it's like five. So you, you get introduced to a mystery, you piece it together, and you move on. I don't want to look at that. Let's talk to number 89. I don't know if he's telling the truth or if he's full of it, but he's our last remaining loose end. All right. However, we need... And I like the cast of Phoenix Wright more. There's also that. Like, just experiencing the game with Phoenix We can is bring fun. him to us. If we plan on sinking with him... Like, I liked Date, efficient. but now Date is like, eh. Can you arrange that? I can. Yeah, but I don't like him, though. That's See, that's the thing. I liked Phoenix from the outset. After cutting through some red tape, 89 was to be brought to HQ. He took considerable time to arrive. But for some reason, Boss never showed up. And they can establish their characters faster. That's the game's fucking prerogative. I thought that was a beard at first, I'm gonna be honest. Like, holy shit, I got a lumberjack in here. He's less cool now. Not enough bearded fucking full-ass wilderness man beards in gaming. It's me. Yeah, but Phoenix is fun, though. You don't need a whole lot of depth to be fun. Like, I like the Date at Sorry first, but he kind of just takes day, all this shit. But I need you to tell me something. And the fact that this game's going for, like, more realistic, like, half of the time. Like, half the time it's more realistic, half the time it's animated shit. So, like, the realistic times he takes the shit. In the anime times he takes the shit, but it's, like, snarky back. Phoenix is snarky at all times, but it's meant to be, like, a fucking cartoon show. And I'm like, I get that. That makes sense there. But this one, I just get annoyed at Date for, like... Don't just fucking take this, you whipped bitch. I'd appreciate your cooperation. Oh, hello. All right, you're in, uh... So what's your name? Number 89. That's why I said he's snarky. Your real name. Oh, no, he can do... He, there have been some times where he could be just like, go fuck yourself. <clears throat> Iris. I don't remember. Not helpful. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a republic in West Africa. Population 17 million. Ooh. I don't have time for your jokes. So how's uh, Shogun Adami doing? Yeah, I guess I do. About a month ago, your Shoko voice does not fit Fuji your face. Prison. Was she there to see you? That's right. It would have worked better if you had the lumberjack beard. What did you talk about? No lumberjack beard out of 10. Nothing special. You're in no position to lie. I'm not lying. She didn't come to hear me talk. Then why did she come? To meet me. Meet you? She probably just wanted to see me. Alright. Dude, like this dude, this dude's cool as fuck, though. Lumberjack beard not included, but, you know, not bad. A long time ago. I don't remember exactly when. He's, he's just fucking with us, and you can totally tell he's just fucking with us, but... 
He's a criminal. What the fuck are you gonna do to him? What's your relationship to her? Like Dante can't fuck with this guy. See, this is a time where I'm just like Dante's gotta take this shit. That fucking smile. A physical one. I'm kidding. She was just a business partner. No, but I can call. No, I'm not even mad about that part. I can still call boss a bitch though. That's right. Ooh. I was one of the culprits behind the case six years ago. <laughs> one of... One of the two Cyclops killers. Oh, I wonder how we knew that. That was weird. Alright, we good? Alright. Let's get right down to it. Two days ago, you called Investigation HQ and said, I know who killed Shoko Nidami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? It's done. You've got a deal. <laughs> All right, shit. All right, but to explain it properly, I need to tell you a story. Fuck, dude, I'll let this guy out. Hell yeah, dude. Did you see that smile? This is the look like the smile of a man who could hurt anyone. It might take some time. Is that all right with you? I've got nothing but time. Then let's get started. The story of a lonely assassin. It's fucking the killer, dude. It's actually a sequel to Ninja's Phoenix Wright stream. Once upon a time, there was a detective full of righteous justice. Let's call him F. F found the evils of the world intolerable. F had no parents, no siblings, and grew up in an orphanage since he was born. He suffered every kind of abuse imaginable there. It led him to despise all the evils. His name's of the actually world. a abbreviation of Foko Nadami. I knew it all along. One day, F was chasing a thug down at the harbor. Someone wanted for the assault and murder of women. Okay, I get it. All right, again. I'll just throw down my knife. Here. And you lower your gun. It's fine. I got nothing else on me. I'll go quietly. You know, I have a history with hospitals. I've been going to a special hospital for a while. Even if I get caught, it's all good. I'll come right back out again. What should I do next time? Just thinking about it gets me excited. It's fucking yeah, all right, that's fair. Not, that's justified. See this? There you go, Dante. Start taking notes. The culprit was unarmed, but F never served a day in prison. Hell yeah! The case went to trial for some time, but it was determined <laughs> to be self-defense. It was declared innocent. <laughs> all right, this is where we're starting today. If the truth got out. It would be a huge scandal for the police. People at the upper level were terrified of what might happen, so they had evidence fabricated. F wasn't suspended or disciplined at all. After a while, he returned to his job like nothing happened. That was a turning point for him. He was ready to shed the morality that was weighing him down, holding him back. F still wanted justice. And he was willing to dispense it to the immoral one by so one. So we're just saw now. All right. He became an assassin. Fuck yeah. A lone gunman. No agent, no employer. He was his own man. F believed that he was judge, jury, and executioner. But it didn't last long. One day, F got rid of a criminal we'll call X. X was responsible for defrauding and killing an innocent old man for his life insurance policy. An absolute shithead. Yeah, all right. Turns out, X had connections. Someone wasn't happy that he died. Rohan Kumakura, chairman of the Kumakuras. X was a top executive of the Kumakuras at the time. Rohan ordered his men to find and kidnap F. I've done some research. I know you've cleaned up at least 18 pieces of scum from this earth. But somehow there hasn't been a single criminal investigation. They're all treated as suicides, accidents, or natural causes. Amazing work. I'm impressed. How about you work for us? Of course, you have the right to say no, but it'll be the last word out of your mouth. F was trapped. Even if he somehow survived, he would be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. 
He had no choice but to take Rohan's offer. Thus, like, F's self-employment came to an end. Didn't you stop killing people? Move, move to like Canada. They never see that coming. Do like multiple flights, you know? Maybe maybe like walk a part of the distance. They never you see they never expect the Canada. He became a hired gun of the Kumakuras. Rohan even gave him a code name. I mean, but then again, he's not just killing people at that point, so he probably wouldn't be down with that. Falco. Named for the Falcon. Oh! A oh, big prey. Oh! What? <laughs> that ain't Falco. Falco didn't quit his job as a police officer, though. Oh, he's still a fucking cop during all this? He worked as a detective by day. Assassin by night at the will of the organization. An ordinary killer would need motive to take a life, but not Falco. He did as he was told, one target after another. Yeah, all right. It didn't take long to destroy his heart completely. The, uh, Time the passed. Falco Lombardi yeah, a few war. years God, back. When does he join Star Fox? Falco, who by this time was exhausted in body and spirit, made a fatal mistake. He missed his mark and ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Somehow he managed to escape. After reaching a nearby shrine, his legs finally gave out under him. He had no strength left. He put his back up against the shrine and let out a moaning breath that he thought might be his last. But at that moment... In his darkening vision, he saw a woman approach him. I wonder who that is. He watched her take out her phone and dial for help. At the same time, he heard footsteps. Footsteps of at least two people closing in. He knew immediately that they were after him. He sprung into action, grabbing the woman the and pulling her close, Dante's kissing like her to keep her from talking. I actually don't know, because it was a long time ago and I'm bad with faces. That was the first encounter between Falco and the woman. She was a teacher at some nice. school. It was like she was from a totally different world than him. Because I knew it was the same kind of... Like general hairstyle, but it's literally short anime style. Listening I wouldn't to be able to talk, guarantee that. He would forget everything about his line of work. She was his only contact with the ordinary, mundane world. They met in secret a few more times, and Falco felt his heart grow warmer. Her smile and kindness were like a cold glass of water for Falco's parched heart. Falco started to become himself again, his former self. He swore on his life that from then on, he would live for her. I mean, all right. So, you want to go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But there is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? Rohan handed Falco a picture of a woman and a girl. I wonder who that could be, man. It's very, very strange. It was the teacher Falco met at the shrine. And her daughter. She had just turned 12. Why the two of them? Rohan, as usual, never gave a reason. And Falco had no intention of carrying out the kill. But if he didn't, he knew that someone else would. He thought long and hard. How was he going to keep them safe and get out of the life of crime? He couldn't find an answer, no matter how hard he thought. He was backed into a corner. So, he decided to call on an old friend for help. And then... What, he fake her death or something? Body double? Uh, DNA double? A uh, blood double? There's been a lot of body doubles in this game already. <laughs> Some reason he wouldn't open his mouth again.
DNA <laughs> fucking cloning. So, uh, was that the whole story? Was that the whole story? Nah, dude, it's a body double. Dude, there's a whole lot of them. They got, no, they got that stuntman in the back. You know how it is. Why'd you stop? Why did you stop? Oh, no, hey, we're doing this where he's talking to. Okay. Uh, okay. You mentioned a detective. What's the connection between that and Shoko? Hey, answer me. I mean, this if it's not body doubles or clones, it's just magic then. You see, it just works, dude. They use sort of a fucking shadow clone jutsu or some shit. Or like, like an actual wizard magic. This has gotta be like a clone spell like Harry Potter or some shit. I don't know, man. It just Until works. I get you guys haven't been picking up on some of the that It's actually been magic the whole time. Anything else. This is the Harry Potter universe like 400 years in the future. Come on, I'll guys. Pick it up. up front. Half later. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest of my story, you better start the release procedures. Once they've cleared, I'll tell you everything. All right. Date, it is unlikely that number 89 will uphold his promise, even upon release. Pewter. Yes? Start the preparations. For what? What do you think? <laughs> the sink. Gotta get in there. This dude's been a clone the whole time. You see, now what I'm what makes, what's making me think about it is because the fucking sync technology, the ability to insert someone into someone else's brain via data, you know what that means? It means you have their brain backed up on a fucking yeah. computer, or at least the near capability to do so. I know. Now we're Soma. All right, fantastic. No, fucking nothing matters anymore when it comes to your physical body holding your brain anymore. Anyone can be anyone. You just gotta jack your entire mind into that bitch. I'm just saying it's a logical continuation. I'm saying it could happen. And you're trying to get me to shit on my dreams. You're trying to get me to stop spoiling the plot that even I don't know. You fool. We've got brain jacking super clones. Why are you on the floor? Why are you sleeping on the job? Because I want to, obviously. See, that was unnecessary. Why are you getting mad at me? I mean, every time there's a psych, there's cringe. Yeah, this rug feels... I'm done. Why are you suddenly a cat? Playtime's over. Let's begin. Stand up. Is this the Sagan residence? I still hate, like, her. It definitely is. But why? Number 89. What were you up to? See, that's not, that's not funny. That's just stupid. You need to be funny when you're trying to be And we've what? just been oozed like it's Nickelodeon. The green? I do not think I can pass through it. Really wants to hide it, huh? Okay, new plan. Somnium scan. Activate. Yeah, okay. God, can you back up a little bit, sir? Do not seem to see deep into the pores. Alright, take your time. This sauce has This appears receded. to correspond to the green thing. Literal wall of sauce, dude. Hop, hop over this bitch. We're not? Okay. I'm not allowed to. Okay, um... Obviously it's the picture. Picture? Prevent the interference from blank. I'm not- I'm literally not allowed to interact with anything but this fucking winter iris. I know, I know. Oh yeah, huff that bitch. No, but not this time, because I'm not stupid. Alright, we're huffing it again, great. You can do it. I believe in you. Stop it! You're distracting me! I got one! Aw, right 
contract. Did the green stuff react at all? A phone. Oh, absolutely. Don't hang. Why are. Why am I not allowed to answer it? Alright, hang up on it. Fuck this guy. Suck my ass. That's just a dickhead thing to do. What the? It's just an asshole. It's just being a fucking dick. Oh. Ugh. I died. You just hung up your own conscious connection to your fucking body. I guess I should have just done better. I gotta let it go to answer machine. It won't stop ringing. I'm literally not allowed to not answer this. It stopped. What was that? You just lied to me then, Iba. It did stop. I don't know. All right, yeah, that makes sense. Dude, there's sauce on the ground. Hell yeah. I guess. Rent interference. So you're not allowed to answer the phone, is that would allow there's for an interference kind of, of the man on the phone. Before. All right, get your fucking hand in there. Absolutely, baby. Uh, oh, all right. It is surprisingly deep. What's in there? Did you find anything? See, like, these are the parts of the dream sequence that I'm, like, all right with. I know, I forgot. I just, I realized that when I clicked it. Oh! So I'm just like, if it wasn't stupid beyond this, like, this isn't is just something? fun. <laughs> like, this just doesn't make any sense, but I'm like, yeah, no, of course this would be a deep one. I'm fucking cartoon logic. Yeah, no, then now it'll drain. See? Come on, dude. This is just how it works. What is this substance? Green tea? It's obviously not green tea. It could be. Perhaps it's jelly. It's not jelly. The sauce. Book or ceiling fan? Oh, Agent shit. Date, you've got four minutes. Fuck you, pewter. You don't know me. I'm looking at this book. A book? Oh, apparently, I don't have option. Fuck this book. Are you sure this will help us uncover number 89's secrets? Absolutely. It might. We're getting closer. Yes. It just works. It's ringing again. Hello, Moshi Moshi. Who is this? What the? I got fucking base boosted. I literally just got memed on. <laughs> Alright, don't fuck with the phone. I'm like not allowed to do this. <laughs> the fucking Taco Bell bong is on the other end of this phone. We need to not answer it. <laughs> That's alright, take your time. See, now this is a scene that works pretty fucking well. Like, like they're not doing anything for it, they're just doing it. Like, we know we have to wait, so have some fun with Stopped. it. That one wasn't bad. Aren't you curious who was calling? Nah, dude. <laughs> I am curious, but what if they threaten me for money? You're a police officer. Have some backbone. How to fuck keep ignoring these damn phones, dude. Ignore the phone, ignore the phone, ignore the phone, ignore the phone. I suppose we didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, dude, you just gotta... At least you didn't faint. <laughs> A book. Bam. I wonder what these books symbolize. I don't know. Maybe he used to oversee a library? Number 89, a librarian. <laughs> I said one book. minute, hurry! Bam! Here I go. Nice. What happened? Nothing. I'm a fucking puzzle god, dude. You don't even understand. Man. I can go get the sauce now. The other one now. Nice. What? Can you taste what the rock is cooking? It appears 
supposed to be some kind of green curry. Maybe a soybean stew? It might also be boiled green juice. Yeah, like a slime. A turtle ninja could leap out at any moment. Yeah, this looks like a great idea. Put that in here. What is this? I would say thing? heat up would probably be the. You can tell by tasting. Mm, probably not. I would like the top to one wear it? I Those are usually meme mouth. answers. I would assume it's heat green, it up, right? but just just fucking drink it's that gotta, shit. Don't say such things. I'm the one who has to drink it. Surprised they know what gak is. Fine. I'll... Take the sauce. Can't taste anything. Iba. Hey, Iba. This is a good ending. Iba! <laughs> uh, ha ha ha. Nice. Good ending. Thank you for the delicious soup. What kind of soup was it? Elephant. What did you say? Elephant. This is a good joke. I'm, I'm very, very fucking glad to hear now. This is a great joke. I had a great time. What is that? Why is it getting louder when we're near her face? Uh! It's an eye. Hey, it's Kumakura. Date, what are we going to do? <laughs> I'm gonna run out of time. <laughs> My little lemon juice is funny, just whoop. <laughs> and you're not out there anymore. And problem solved. It just works. It left. <laughs> And we're out of time. That eye. Do you know something about it? Yes. Oh, okay, sorry to bother. It was. You insane. I need you two to stop now. We have run out of time. What? Hey, tell me. And. Dante, uh. There's no shit. Game over. No, no, just all of it. Yeah, just, just all of it. I don't, I don't want to go like back to a checkpoint. I just want to redo all of it. No, no, all of it. How do I? How do I go back? I don't want this checkpoint. I want to go back all the way. And you? Yeah, but there's not like a... I'd save options. Look, Pochart, maybe? Oh, well. oh, shit, yo! Nice. That's a little out of the way. It's weird that they have a retry button, but the retry button doesn't let you retry, but you know, all right. Not suck. Fuck up. Woo! Mmm, vomito vision. Fantastic. A winter I I know, I know. Well. I mean I gotta at least see. Let's uh, fucking Date be weird again. It smells like a typical winter iris. You can't smell. What does a typical iris smell like? Elegant and gentle. Can't you just tell me what it smells like? I had to search online for a description, but could not find one. Oh, right. Bone ring! Damn it. A wind. Ah, oh, you're a right bastard. Actually, because it was 30 seconds base, uh, with the 18 to. With the 18 base, and then I got like a one fourth cut, lowering it to seven. 18 plus seven is still lower than 30. I actually saved time by doing that. A phone. Fucking min max and piece of shit out here. I can't skip this. Yes, I can. I have the power. <laughs> Bam. Are you sure? It might. Fuck 
Why did you give me a death thing? Right, fine, fuck you too then. Skipped the wait. What the fuck did you mean by this? What do you mean he skipped the waiting? What what does that mean? You have three minutes, Dante. It's a pot. It appears to be. Maybe a so. It might also. Yeah. Like I'll put that in your mouth. Like, could you press the ignore button? Oh. You can you can just let it go. So what does that mean though? Oh, do I just need to wait? Is that is that like the whole point? Is this just like a real life actual time thing? Remind him to fuck up these books. <laughs> Bam. Bam. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Oh. Oh, bye bye. So I still don't know what you guys are talking about. How would you skip that? Can you answer the, can you just do everything but do the phone? How do you progress then? Cause you have to wait at the phone. How, how do you skip that? Uh, do you know some? Yes. He fast forwarded. Oh. Hey Toby, are you it's okay? Do it like he did it. Do it like we do it in the uh, African American me. channel. What is you... it? Discovery Channel. <laughs> Get in there. Like this? You are like one of my limbs, Iva. Yes. Like an alter ego, an incarnation of me to kiss Hitomi. Fucking Dante's yes. getting in there. Then it's like me kissing Hitomi. No. You sure? Damn it. Because that was making. Could it just be? I'm done. With it's Hitomi. No, I don't want to talk to Hitomi. Skull. A skull. Kiss the skull. You see, you see, this is how you get in there. I must be malfunctioning. Just give it a little kissy. I am seriously getting. No react. I wanted to. That was. I do not need your. This was a good use a of my skull. time, frankly. How you doing, man? How's it going? Hmm. Hello there. What happened to your boss? Oh, I say something. I don't want to be the only one to now you're upsetting me. Humanity finally develops artificial intelligence, and this is the result. Date, I will unleash a never heard anyone say. All right, we're done with this fucking skull now. I said one minute. Oh, Bye. shit, we got another book. I didn't even see this. Bam. <laughs> What is this going to accomplish? We're driving number 89 into a corner. Of course. By tearing a book. Yeah. I remember how shocked I felt when that situation was. Okay. Why is there like some sauce going on right here, huh? What's this? What? Oh, hello. Another one. A book. Bam. A green book. I do not think there is any relief. All right. Guess. Very important. I had to get that out of the way. Date, thirty seconds. Oh, we fine. I had to get rid of the it's books. It's very important. Uh. Want a hug? Well, I. Su She's hard. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Sorry, nothing. It's a tough. Normally I'm one against the crash thing, but that one just kind of, kind of just came out of nowhere. So you know what? Hey, fine. Hit told me. Hit told me. And I'm terrible no, at these. Could you try it again, but more? In I believe we should. But let it go. It's hit. Dante, you're out of time. Fuck it. We're gonna get the lore. Uh. Her stomach. Yeah, it's not like I push her over. She's extremely hard. What did you say? That she is stationary. No, before that. She's hard. Hitomi is hard right now. Got it. That's useful information. Let's keep that in mind. 
Fantastic. I don't know, maybe I just have a weak spot for uh, the hard jokes. Well, I'm dead now, shut up! I'm not dead yet, alright, fucking... No, we'll just go back, it would make my life easy. Uh... Bleh. Fuck it. And we're back. <laughs> a book. A band. It's very important. Gotta get here, give my eyeball back. What? Bam. And then uh, Just one <laughs> minute. Hurry. A bam. Hmm. Oh, oh, and we're back. Fantastic. Welcome, A welcome skull. back, everybody. Uh, fuck this skull, bitch. Would that not be disrespectful to the dead? Dead? It's a hunk of calcium. All right. Sorry about this. Oh! Whose skull was this? Unknown. I also cannot... We did it. Good job. Congratulations, everybody. Fuck this skull. And I guess we'll go fuck with, like... Can I fuck with a picture now, finally? Yes. A picture? It was illegal a before. All right, fill it out. You know, make it nice and happy. I don't have a pen. No. Ch you don't have to go. You don't have blood. Apparently, you have blood. Hmm. The color has returned. Hey, Iba. I said blood, but it is not the same. And besides, we are still blood. I feel better if you used a different word. For example. Body fluids. I do not feel. Good, good job. And now we lose. Fantastic. Date, they're shit. Uh... Right. All right. Okay. We'll fuck with the switch then. A switch. An astute observation. Ow! I can't pull them out. They sting me. Well, guess we have to invest. If you're fine with a switch, but there. This switch. That was then. But there are th It's fine. It'll only. <laughs> oh! It doesn't hurt. Oh, it's just that easy. The light has turned on. Okay. Less than one minute. Hurry. How would they what? make the fucking interactable something I could have interacted with before, but just didn't? Lamp. Uh, we'll just burn the shit out of my skull unit. Uh. Wham! You better come up with a more intelligent solution. Date, these are your instructions. A floor lamp. <laughs> yeah, that was waste of electricity, man. I do not see a switch anywhere. Or any kind of power. Oh, supply. fucking lights already on. We don't need this really? shit. Come on, look harder. Where's your motivation? I cannot find it. A floor lamp. Jocelyn. Are you yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Is this okay? You found the light bulb. Congratulations. No, you did it. You're good. Looks okay. Yeah. No, it's fine. You did it. Alright, great. Um... Date! 30 seconds! Fuck up the ceiling fan? Or is it the fucking It's books? a ceiling fan. Is that like a giant desk fan? A desk fan only moves the air immediately around... Huh. Ooh! Blow on it. Yay, make it go faster. You're just fucking ah. not doing your job right. Well, now it's going backwards. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, no, that's per. No, this is this is exactly what we want. Okay, I fucking broke it. I guess. All right, fantastic. Um. Oh yeah, we haven't done the picture. A picture. Just a picture. I don't. You don't have. Whoop. 
Who's that? What do I do? So glad I had a 10 second thing off that. I don't think that was the right answer. <laughs> My body. It, everyone knows you just can't do that. That's fair. Uh. Shut the fuck up. Stop banging on the door. You're bothering everybody. If you want to bang on something so much, play the drums. Oh, sorry for bothering. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, that, that, that solved the problem though. What's the problem? This is bullshit. This is fucking garbage. I solved the fucking problem. You cannot lie to me, game. Woo! Uh, great. Why am I not allowed to go like further back? Do I have a limited number of fucking retries? This just makes it worse. Why would you do this to someone? What if I wanted to see all the interactions? Because I, you know, wanted to have fun with my video game. Why would you punish me for this? Man, they're just making this game better and better, ain't they? And we come over here, and then we come up to here, and then we get whatever the fuck this is. I got a secret. We got why the fuck do I have this? Wham. Trying to pick up the eyeball just fucking eats my asshole, I guess. I shouldn't shouldn't do that. Yeah, but that's uh, tedious as him. piss. 30 seconds. Apparently it's the fucking ceiling fan. Like nothing else. Hello? I'm, I'm allowed to call something tedious for us. You can't just say, well, not really. Uh, something, something's tedious. But the door's locked. You can't come in. No! Stop! Stop right there. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. I didn't stop shit. I was told to stop it, and I stopped it. Oh, hi. How's it going? Okay. Date, this is a serious matter. Where's boss? Huh? Boss, where is she? I, I don't know. I haven't seen her since about noon. Damn it. Date, listen. Something happened while you were in Samyam. Huh? Please stay calm and listen. So Sejima's body was discovered. He was cut into pieces and put inside a vase in his mansion. What a fucking badass. Dude, boss is hustling it. It can't be. The housekeeper found him and reported it to the police. I literally said boss was the only one that had a connection to all of them. Fucking. But no, Date's not allowed to think and about One more that. thing. So was missing his left eye. You mean the Cyclops killer did it? Probably. Yes. What is your next move, Date? We'll deal with so later. Before that, I need to talk to Boss. I suggest what? checking her office. What do you mean you need to talk Good to idea. Boss? What the fuck, Dante? Okay, well, yeah, you need to talk to her, all right? <laughs> we need to get some fucking answers. Dude, I fucking love eyeballs, quote. Like, like half of the people in this game. Not here. Where is she? 
Insomnium earlier was just like a dream I had three days ago. What the hell is going on? No, she's been directly involved with the case. Like, what's going on? She knows all these people. I mean, it's. Itomi was shot by Rohan Kumakura to protect number 89? There's another thing I can't figure out. Boss. Boss. Why was Boss there? Because it was a dream? Was it completely random? No, that can't be. You can't dream of a face you've never seen. Number 89 must know Boss somehow. This is a serious secret. Boss is hiding it. I have to search this room. There must be a clue somewhere. The fucking tombstone. Damn, this is where she keeps all the eyeballs. Something for me. I could beat her over the head with that tombstone. Keep eyeballs in the bags. Just fucking go through her desk, dude. Oh, okay, I'm not allowed to do that. All right, computer. Yeah, this would be the other easy answer. Iba, can you hack this PC? I will try. Nice. Oh. I guess I should have done better. I have recovered some video data. It was uploaded only a few hours ago. Open it. Guys. So Sejima. <laughs> you get fucked, I guess. <laughs> Also, this game's so Alice. She has a bunch of the funky trumpets from Danganronpa, which is a total non sequitur, but it's fun to bring it up. I wonder who that could be. Very mysterious figure. Uh, so, ma'am, could you please back up from the camera? Boss? The fucking brain jackers! I told you about that the serial killer is an infectious disease. Whenever you. The case remains unsolved! What the fuck do you mean it remains unsolved? Go find boss! <laughs> Call the police! Alright, that's the end of this route, I guess. What the fuck do you mean unsolved? <laughs> Call the police! We have more investigating to do! Uh, I don't know, I should have just done better. It's locked, uh, I need the fucking... I need to get more sauce from another timeline. I don't care, man. Fucking... Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna li literally have fucking time travel shit. See, this is the brain jacky shit. The fucking serial killer is like an infectious AI that whenever you kill the person, you get infected. Well, that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> that should be the opposite. Uh, whenever you're killed by... No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, whenever you uh, think about murder in the proximity of the killer, you become the new killer. It's all, it's an insidious plot, dude. Um, I'm going to go with the timeline I had originally gone down because this was, this was the original timeline I got, but I didn't know this game had multiple routes. So had I gone true and straight and narrow, this would have been the path I would have gotten. But at the same time, this is a red colored cord and tells me that this is like the intended one based by a color theory. Please, Sion. Please be ready. I'm not ready for like fucking shitty Iris lore. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I gotta... I have to play this shit again? Come on, man. Don't do what VLR and all of the other ones did. Let me just jump into that bitch. I guess I technically haven't proven I know how to do it, but that fucking garbage. Hello, kiddo. I'm gonna fuck your, like, day up. No, I don't want to see it. No, I don't want it. You yoink?
Shoko's voice is too loud. Even using the microphone. Hmm. How do I do this again? Ah, uh, now we're getting uh now we're getting to where I don't remember as much. I've already done this. Did we talk to him? I don't remember. Excuse me, but do you have a ice? Did you learn something? I did. Well? This whore cannot speak in I don't remember. Microphone. Just the two, so I guess the yeah, guys just threaten. No? Okay. Uh oh shit, that's a gate. No 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 no. Yeah, I've already seen this before, Force. How did I go through this again? Do I need I need to go talk to Mizuki. It's right. Yeah, because I didn't know this game had multiple routes. Mizuki, can you hear me? I had no fucking idea that this game had multiple routes. So when I got to the end of this, I'm like, fuck you, game. I want to see what the other endings are. Like, the other, like, dialogues. I wanted to, like, fuck around in the dream some more. I had no fucking idea this game had multiple endings. I just thought there were multiple ways of solving the same case. So I just... I, I thought this ending was shitty, and I wanted to see what the other one was, and I got pissy, so I relaunched the game. I have no fucking idea. This was the original route I had gotten the first time. No, I'm not sticking to it. I want to show off the content and see the content. This do I have dual layered motivations for this bitch. I had no fucking idea. Kate AI. Alright, time for some bullshit. Yay. Why is Iris in the dream? Are you better? Because this does not seem like it would have made a person better. Like what I fucking remember from this route was not a fucking good ending. Are you okay? Mizuki. Bad ending. Why did we pick this ending? This she ending fucking been. sucks. She's still traumatized. Yeah, because we fucking talk to, talk to her as her mother. That's not helpful. Bad ending. Good God. Fucking garbage timeline, dude. Of course dude. it's fine. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Wrong? Nah, this whole timeline bad ending. We didn't help Mizuki. Like I'm I don't care what happens in this ending. It's a bad ending. Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Like there's nothing you could say. Like literally it could immediately end with Iris and Boss fucking exploding including Iva and I'd still say that yeah, okay, that's a pretty good ending. Okay, but that's not happening. Anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. They just, only those three characters just explode into like a fucking meat pile. And it's just like, yeah, did it again. True ending and credits play. Fucking maracas going off. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay. But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? <sighs> I can't develop a traumatized child sound. No. Then go on a date with me. No. A date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. <laughs> Can we do the first option? All right. Understood. Why would you pick the second option? Understood. Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya! Oh, okay. What was yeah, that? Sure, a phone call? It's nothing. A chair? <laughs> ah, yes! A chair! You okay? No. <gasps> Why are we on this timeline, man? It didn't go well. Yeah, I've noticed. But it's not all bad. I've, it's very bad. The sink. 
wasn't a total waste of time. I'm not happy. There is a child clues. traumatized in my office and it's my fault. Clues, right. Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samyam. All right, bye. Her name is Iris Sagan, the girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? I have told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation Oh my reports. god, I can't believe I never put it together. This entire game is deadly premonition. She's even got the back scars. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Where there's the uh, fucking Forrest Kaysen's gonna come in and start start fucking talking about pancakes and shit. Gonna start talking to crazy pot lady. It's fucking the best game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> about that ringtone. I know about the ringtone you heard. No, dude, absolutely deadly. Pre it's going on the list right now. All right, there we go. We can continue. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? Oh, Forrest, you have n I, I know I've said this a lot, but holy shit, have you never fucking had a worse take? Oh my god, dude. That's what I'm trying to it's find It's on out. the list. It's too late, Forrest. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. That's the point, Forrest. Every part of it is so bad. But my god, you can tell they put so much fucking heart and soul into it and it's and it like wraps back around to that so bad it's good that like it starts being unironically good the performance is terrible the characters are laughable the audio mixing is terrible the story is like engaging but laughably cheesy oh it's so good god damn it's on the list ah the corpse you saw in Somnia. You can drive cars in that game. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. <laughs> Literally, I've never seen a game where the fucking sequel coming out and, re and like fucking news reporters saying, oh man, don't get excited for this. The frame rate was locked at like 15 with frequent drops and every single person I saw who liked that game was like, oh my God, it's finally happening. The true sequel. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's so fucking bad. <laughs> That's well, the point. let's see. I hated that game at first. I was only watching it because of fucking two best friends play. But at first it was just like, because it was a game that was a lot of like background noise and I got to hear him make glide comments. But by the end of it, I was watching it for the game. As a man. My science, God, that game is a fucking ride. Holy shit, dude. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some stab proof armor or something. You just got good advice. <laughs> oh, dude, you guys don't understand. You haven't even seen fucking just Deadly Premonition. It's in just fucking Twin real Peaks. Life prophecies. <laughs> it's just Twin Peaks. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Prophecies are simply not possible. True. You that game had so much heart put into it, though. I respect that. Like, if you if you have like a fucking message to tell, even if it's super shitty, I'll at least respect that part of it. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. If you're gonna go all tropey and based on other things kind of shit, be as like bog standard as possible, I'm not gonna like very much. When you go fucking as far out there as possible with your gameplay systems to tell the shittiest story I've ever seen, goddamn, you got some hustle the going on. circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind yeah, and yeah, this dream is experienced as the yeah, subject yeah, is the, yeah, the sinker. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I get it. I know. I wish there was a way of only skipping, like, old, already seen dialogue. Can I actually, like, is there, like, a setting I can turn on? Because, uh, VLR had that. Message. Uh, skip unseen. No! No! Bad. Bad. 
prophecy. That's why you called Iris. I can't skip but this. Date, this come on. Yeah. I know. A dream is just a dream. There we go. Now we got it. Doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. Uh, that's so that way. That way, if you've seen the game before, if you like, like right there, if you'd played the game before, the game didn't know I had done the balloon section when I had already had it. But still. A lot of uh, visual novels do that same kind of shit. I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you all right? Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. It's so that way there's more replayability if you've played through the game before, you know? I hope that's all it is. I mean, it's a visual novel, so you're really not getting fucking much out of it, but, you know, it's if you... Yeah, you know. Yeah, 999 DS3 had to play the whole fucking game every time. Yeesh, it's, that's a fucking yikes. You're totally right, but... Luckily, um... There's no luckily. That was just bad. <laughs> ringtone. Boss, Somebody. I heard a ringtone Somnium. I know. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... I mean, yeah, because it, that's the kind of thing that, like... I, I had the same kind of problem I had with Metal Gear, where a lot of it was, like, that first-time go-through experience. But now that I've, like, passed that, the game's fucking amazing. 999 has that kind of problem. Once you're past the fucking skipping through the dialogue sections, it's it's great. Like then there must have been a phone. It's a problem, and I'll still hold that against it. But now that we're past it, it's good. Like did CSI report anything? It's the only like problem that? with doing a game blind on stream. Now if I look back on Metal Gear, I'm like this game's fucking amazing. I don't have any more problems with it other than the camera being fucky sometimes and the lock-on system being stupid. No, nothing. Like uh, I I don't like they the fact the that site, fucking sub weapons are like massively optional. The fucking stealth is entirely optional like fuck dude you're perfect it's good you did it it's great no need to report specifics we saw it all from here on the control room what the sinker sees in somnium is projected here remember that's your brain under computers we've got it all recorded <laughs> isn't it incredible i invented it this dude's the fucking coolest by the way like, like, I know I've probably talked a few times about characters I like. Peter's the fucking best in this game, entirely via fashion statement. This dude, dude so this dude's pastime could be saw. kicking small children puppies, chil dogs. They're called puppies. I don't know why I said small children puppies. I meant to say small children dogs. <laughs> but this dude would still be the coolest. The phone, the frozen This game has a lot of anime and tropey shit. That's meant to pedal. That's not a message you're trying to tell. You're trying- that that's like pandering and trying to sell merchandise kind of shit, you know? This is the- I like, I need to make merchandise and get the thirsty fans in on it. I don't respect that. Mizuki, I saw something strange uh, Like, dream. like, I actually don't even hate fan service altogether. Like, I'm totally okay with if a game, like, like One Piece, for example. People have interviewed the creator saying, like, why do you only draw women like this? He's like, Cause I like women with big tits. Fucking all right then, you know, respectable. Like you're not trying to pedal. He's doing it for himself. I'm like, fuck it. If you're gonna do fan service, you should just do it. Like, don't be coy about it. Don't try to make it like fucking was, was standardized or some frozen. shit. Nah, man. Full and braid, full Nelson, that bitch. Make it uncomfortable she to watch with your parents. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Come on, Mizuki. Date, there is no point I don't to want to talk to Mizuki. It makes me uncomfortable. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. Why am Mizuki, I forced to keep I talking to her? Ask you. I don't want to talk to her. You got a Nile message yesterday, and then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was wiped. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. Mizuki, when we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the I want Date to be a better father figure, too. But that's like a character flaw. I'm not accusing I don't you like of anything. Him so much. It's not like bad writing. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer me, Mizuki. Date! Please! Date, please. Computer! Thank you. All right. Failing at her is counterproductive. Damn it. Date, please, be a better person. <laughs> hey, Mizuki, tell me something. 
In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere? He may be also a past serial killer. Did you just imagine it? Date, there's no point talking. And to that's him. why his memory's missing. Because he got his fucking. They they like deleted that part of his data because his brain's backed up on a computer. They just For didn't give him that part of the improved. memory, so that way they'd have a fucking agent. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. How do I leave? I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there, it might not. I just want to be sure. And that's why he's also the killer, because he killed a bunch of people, and then they didn't want him to be the killer, so they took those memories and shoved him in some fucking other Take guy. Take care of Mizuki, okay? <laughs> yeah. Leave it to me. So we're both him and 87. We're both with the same man. <laughs> then we have the fucking Tales of the Abyss style, like, what does it mean to be real? Who's the real person? What do I want to do with my life, even if it may not be my own kind of story? Hell yeah. That's a good story. I got this plot figured out. Y'all don't understand. Uh, data, you know how now it is. The They're all Yesterday robots. Night, the body of They're all backed up on the computers. Her body was recovered from the now defunct Bloom Park <laughs> in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put See, this is this is what happens when I play a mystery game. Ninja's out here trying to make actual fucking deductions, and I'll make wild sweeping, like... <laughs> what's the fucking term? Wild sweeping, uh... Ah, uh, fucking English language, work with me here. My brain keeps saying the word gestations, and that's not right. Like, that is like so astronomically wrong, but my brain keeps thinking the word I'm trying to say starts with a G, and it's just not right. I'll just move on, I guess. It's not like I've spoken this fucking language for my whole life. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the capital city highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious. The truck was the killer all. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected. It's gonna be, be fucking very relevant information in like either five minutes or twenty hours of gameplay. The investigation is ongoing. Depends on the route, of course. You gotta, you gotta get the right timeline. Yeah, I know it, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's gonna be really fucking pertinent information in, like, 200 years. Or five minutes, depending on the timeline. Why are you here? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you a I'm ghost? A fucking samurai or some shit. It's me. Uh, who you? Me? It's who me. you? Me? Whom? I said. Whom instead of? But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Then, Iba. But why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. I don't know, reality. man. Fucking. Uh... I got the body transfer from the fucking dude who got hit by the truck as he is in critical condition. You just slap the memories into that man, shunt him off to jail, boom. Now you got a fucking criminal. It's just that either. easy. Oh Ignore the fact that he's been in prison <laughs> for like years. <laughs> and the fact that he knows people. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I'm so good at this you fucking figure out mystery shit, dude. You guys gotta take notes. You do realize I do that all the time, right? <laughs> um, it was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. 
Dreams consist of memories, but that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone as well. Joko being an utterly Yuzuki massive fucking hear. bitch of a mother. Like, good God, lady. I understand that, but it's our only lead. You talk to your fucking child like that. Jesus Christ, man. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. Can I skip this? This is old dialogue. What's I'm that about? never allowed to skip what things. You, well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, also change not it. And the fucking doses that Dante's taking are, uh... The drugs that keep your brain from falling apart because you've got robot brain. Be Rika from like Tifa. memories. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. Yeah, I got it all coming together, you guys. I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part of your working you got a brain. really shitty walk Our animation. minds are one. During the sync, when the data that cons... Yeah, I, I, I get it. I, we've already seen this dialogue. I have Although... It... As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI has already searched the area thoroughly, but they did not discover anything. Well hidden, huh? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. All right, go get him, Iba. You're you're not an eye ball right now. Let me see. I need to analyze the surroundings. Maybe it's in the fucking floor. What do you want me to? Are you just gonna be here? It is certainly the case that the phone would be placed somewhere not readily visible to the naked eye. Ah, oh, vomito vision. If it exists at all. Fantastic. I gotta sync it up, you know. This isn't fucking match. Come on, game. At least let me make it match. Is it supposed to be an angle like this? Cause you see the fucking wires off in the distance. But they're just not even like standing in the right place. Like, you can match up this fucking banister on the ground a little bit, but then like you see the lines are. It's just all fucked, dude. Did you check the horse? The horse. Shoko's body was. Who's Look phone at that. is this? It appears to be a smartphone. I knew it was in the horse. Don't lie. You doubted me. I just didn't know. I was so how do I talk. get it out? I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. The horse's neck does not detach either. There must be some hole or something. The fucking pipe? I found one. The pipe Where? is a big ass the hole. Mouth of the horse. Oh shit, that's a better idea. Inside. One moment. Th oh, this does not seem like a fucking good idea. I guess you do have a weird little jelly form. I got it! How the fuck do you hold things like this? Yes. Good job, Iva. I'm gonna animate the weird fucking eyeball bear. It's all right. Do not worry about me. I'm not worried about you. I just don't want to get dirt in my eye socket. Hmm. Yeah, those looks suit you, bear, little bear. How disrespectful. Do you know how hard it was to make that form? No. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Do not worry about me. Finish your search and investigation. You should find some clues. All right. Iba, who owned this phone? The number is... <laughs> this is a rental phone. A rental? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Come on. Well, keep fucking Date, with it. Look at the device history. Yeah, I was gonna say, look through it. Don't just look at the phone number. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call. 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. 
the number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. No numbers at all. The phone had no email addresses or browsing history that could be a clue either. Just one clue. The call at 9.02 p.m. And I will look up the number. This number is also from a rental phone. No owner is registered. God damn. Oh. What happened? The battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. Iba, remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. Connected. You're connected. Uh, my name is Kaname Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. Are you an idiot? They hung up. Oh, you think so? What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? I couldn't help it. <laughs> Professional, uh... I wasn't ready. I, I just said the first thing that came into Why my head. Why did you tell her to call him you then? You told me to call. Exactly. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. There is no other word for it. You're telling me. But, but can't you track the, where the fucking phones just pinged off? I guess it's just from cell phone towers, not just general. Can you call again? Iba, can you call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. Damn, call deny. Call deny? Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reka from the Cabaret Club did to your number. Damn, you remember that? Fucking A, Dante. You gotta get your shit together. This doesn't help us. Uh. Yeah, no, let me uh, find Street, what fucking. Shinjuku. Yeah, no, find what fucking cell tower it pinged off. That's a wide range. Yeah, damn it. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. Fuck. The power also appears to be off. Like, I got, like, I actually know how you'd fucking find this shit, and they actually had, like, a good answer in I game. I cannot connect from any line. Fucking bastard. Because you blew it. <sighs> Just go to Shinjuku, yeah. There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Well, I want well. So, do you know Probably who we call? involved in the incident. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police, then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. Why is that phone in the horse? Unknown. But it does appear to be deliberate. Yeah. Did the culprit do this? Or did someone else? Y'all ever just fucking throw your phone in the horse? And for what specific purpose? This is good. I'm not calling Rachel. Iba, not let's get going. Right now. There's nothing more here. Goodbye. Where are we going? Where aren't we Iris's going? house? Yeah. I'm curious. Is it nighttime? About your prophecy? Absurd. It let's hope so. Time is it? It's fucking nighttime, dude. Uh, this is supposed to be early in the morning. No, it's 10:30 p.m. It's nighttime, bro. They're asleep. Hmm? Coming. Fuck answers the phone. Look out the window first time. That could have been a serial Stop killer. It. He would have died immediately. I would have shot you in the face, just like that man from that dream that didn't happen in this timeline. You fool. How are you? How you doing? I'm hop hop hoppy happy. I regret I asked. Hop hop hop. Rabbit goes hop. I'm now immensely regretting that I'm here to begin with. Can I have been a serial killer? Why do you ask? Oh, well, you see. Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Are you seriously going to tell her that? You hush. Hmm? Where's your mom? By the way, where's your mom? She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Oh, that's obvious. This is fucking ominous. She looked kind of panicky, too. I almost said obvious, which, <laughs> you know what, fine, but that's ominous. Where did she go? Uh, don't know. She didn't tell me. How dead out of ten is this bitch? This could be okay. alternate timeline where all the you parents came. die. Not a good ending, but we at least get to watch these shitheads suffer. But... Aren't Namely you Iris, early? you're a massive bitch. Huh? 
You said you would play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. I don't not remember promising. No, I she did. Oh shit, you're right. She doesn't have the dead mom hairstyle. I did oh, promise shit, to go she's on a date with you. Tomorrow. It's not even midnight yet. I kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. Fantastic. Oh, did you want something to drink? Why am I here? No, sorry. I should be going. What? Leaving already? Did I show up just to talk to you? Yeah, I have some work to do. Well, will you at least watch my stream at 1? No. Stream? At 1 a.m.? Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. And you're going to stream online? Yeah. At 1 in the morning? Yeah. You're a young woman. You shouldn't stay up so late. Oh, jeez. You sound like an old man. Because he is an old man. <laughs> it's fine. Today isn't for work. It's just a personal stream. That's not the issue. Man, streamers suck, you know? And I don't know who would ever decide to go out and do this with their life. And tomorrow is Sunday. The day isn't the issue either. Anyway, please watch, okay? I mean, I know people who are fucking vampires. Uh, my brother's, like, best friend. Uh, they've had, they've had fucking a few times where they stayed over at their house. And their fucking family goes to bed at, like, fucking 3, 3 a.m. And wakes up at 9 to go to work. What the fuck are they doing with their life? How do people live like this? I mean, I've always been naturally been like a fucking late ass bird. I've always gone to bed around like midnight, 1 a.m. But then I wake up at like noon or some shit. But that's just how my body has always functioned. And that's what my brain always automatically wants to fucking like natural reset my internal clock to, which is why I keep randomly fucking sleeping in and I hate it. I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. Fine. Uh, that's not what it's colloquially learned, known as. Yeah, that's because, uh, we are sensible people, unlike the Delta, Euro beans. I have been thinking. I am glad that nothing bad happened. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but her mother is dead. She's I in a mortal coma, not dead yet. Maybe. Because not dead haircut. I'm going to die. Iris' words came to me. Stepped down hard on the accelerator. Nah, you just you just don't get it, Fours. <laughs> you just don't get it. You see, it's, it's a common blunder. <laughs> yeah, but that's a timeline fuckery. Hey, it's me. There'd be no point. Let's not. Well, well, now. Come on now. I look crazy. Let's not. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk to myself like an idiot. Absolutely. Play a game. Let's play a word game. Okay, bring it on. Say white ten times. White, 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 white. Think of your favorite cabaret girl. Now, what does a cow drink? Milk. Thanks for noticing that. Oh, hello. I didn't even know you were here. Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. Don't tell boss that! What exactly are you planning to do? What? Seriously? It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. Have you ever heard of a white lie? So you're gonna act like it never happened. That's not what I said. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Oh, so you are not planning a real date then? No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Iva. Pardon? Are you jealous? Impossible! I could never be jealous of a silly little human like her. You are an eyeball. Uh-huh. Sure. How bad is this bitch? There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki. But, like, mentally. But we will need to speak with her directly. I hope she gets better soon. Alright, time to fix my... There we go. <sighs> I 
I am watching the case file of Shoko Nagami as it is updated in real time. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant yeah. progress. Or not. Hmm. He could have. Or maybe he didn't because it was probably Iris. Hey, Doctor. Because we told her to stay Why home. not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? Bar? Marble in Golden Yokocho. Why would I do that? Mama would why would she do poor producers about everything you just know about crap and crap. Maybe she's something. Anything else to report? About Renju. Renju? Yesterday I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Well, we found him. Where? Central Hospital. He was brought there from a traffic accident. Oh shit, yo! He's unconscious and it's not looking good. I was right, but now I gotta wonder what the fuck happened in the other timeline to make that still happen. Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. Did someone fucking find his body and drag his ass away? Damn, I Iris, you're strong. It was about Renju. There's been no progress, as usual. The people at the main office are so incompetent. Okay, rude. But also, this is partially your fault. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. That's good luck. You know, I need you to happen. tell me right now, based on where my phone- I haven't moved my mouse cursor once. How the fuck am I clicking the fishing fly? It's literally blowing in the wind and clipping through her hitbox. Watch, as I'm now clicking the fishing flag, and now I'm clicking the boss. I just got fucking cucked by a goddamn flag. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. <laughs> First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. That's a lie. It was Shoko's phone? Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Oh, okay. Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. I mean... Fucking stretch, you could just start just start checking fucking uh, cameras around fucking public locations to see if someone answers their phone at 902. It's literally the definition of a stretch, but it's something to investigate at After least. After Shoko was killed, I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. That's the kind of investigating you gotta do when you're at a fucking dead Why end. Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call, so that they can bring her to the scene. But then why hide the phone? They would have left it somewhere. No, that's what I'm find. saying. That's where you have like jobbers, you know. That's where you'd have like an intern or some shit. True. No, I know that, but we have an entire fucking police force. Like, if someone's on the case and it's dead, you already have people out there. If you're the one stuck at the office, it's something to do, you know. You never know when like fucking long shot leads like that would work. Like, if someone but died, I mean, it's an avenue of suspicious. progression, even if it should probably be the last one, you know? Consider this. They did not register the phone under their real name. And also, they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. And on top of that, they blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. The blame lies entirely with Date. I suggest cutting his salary. I'll cut your battery. Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. Anyway, we have to identify the caller, if you don't want your salary cut. <sighs> Fine. All the history's been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. Ranger? Date, you should go talk to him. He is Shoko Nodami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. You're his friend, right? He'll understand. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, no, go do that. 
She was returned to the hospital after the sink. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Hmm? Strange. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. She went home by herself? Possibly. But why? Unknown. Time to go fucking home. Your place is to check. Center hospital Renju is. Don't know if they could stop one might help. Iba? Roger that. I gotta go home, man! Fuck this bitch! This bitch is loose! Gotta pop a save. You never know when I get game over and lose two hours of progress. Going home. Damn, I live in a shitty, debatably shitty apartment. Let me take a look at this. How shitty is this apartment? Yeah, that's a decently shitty apartment. Huh. Holy it's shit, she's so strong. Iris's mother. Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna be like, is fucking Mizuki dead? Because <laughs> they knew what they were doing with that opening fucking camera angle. Holy shit, she's so strong. <laughs> I was gonna be foam or some shit. Mizuki, what are you cause... doing? What's it look like? Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. Uh, it's, uh, there's some computer fuckery. Someone uh, uh, rewired her brain. Their memories, they uh, deleted that section. I received a narrow this seems message a from Mizuki last right night. now, I'm gonna be frank. Teacher, can you please help me? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. There's two fucking plates. That's a hundred fucking... Yes, Jesus, teacher. lady. That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. I went to the this hospital... This is fake as hell, dude. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. Start talking to her. Mizuki re-racked the weight. Yeah. I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. Dante being a shitty parent. Do not, do not remember the fucking, like, uh, you only have one shot, or you have, uh, one week, whatever the fuck that little, little flash game was. You only have one chance, I think it was actually called. It's, it's bad. But, like, bad. When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I. The only thing I could think was. I had to get it out. So you pulled it out? Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so. Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. 
Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. I'm not allowed to tell her? Okay. How's it going? Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Mizuki lives here with me. Not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. It's all left to Renju. He might not be getting any good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all that official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Mizuki. You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, Teacher, and then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. We need to go back to the other timeline. Dante, please. Because Dante gave her a big hug. That Dante did the same shit. He was actually doing good. We need to go to the left timeline. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record. But she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Get fucked, absolutely. Like more than just incidents. But I like that about her. She's a little clumsy. And just like Renju. You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes. At Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here. That's right. A district elementary school. I'm also surprised that she's not dead. <laughs> she doesn't have the dead mom haircut. She can't Is die. That a coincidence? None of it's ever canon. Becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, She'll live on I in some way in some on form. Being a teacher, but it wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes. But I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Yeah. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. The local elementary is actually pretty far from here. My house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. Why don't you just give her a fucking right x-ray? Look at them bones! Nice. That's... A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh. I was looking at her hand. Like... Alright. Don't ask this fucking question, dude. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball? No. It was already gone when she got there. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. Oh. Does it bother you? Can you not move it? No. 
I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. Was there an accident? Or... Uh... <laughs> I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. The nerves died and... Anyway, the story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. And he was carrying a gun. From the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. So because um, you're only allowed to have memories of things you like have actually seen, I'm like, how the fuck? Like, the actual question becomes, how do we have boss's memories? Because um, his memory saw boss, but we saw him. But we were in her position, unless, unless we're the fucking Kumakura guy. So I'm thinking there has to be some brain swap and shit. Like, memories fuckery going on here, because, like... These lo this timeline of events just doesn't make sense. Just a random crime. Like body doubles, cloning, brain swapping, body swapping, something. Fucking data backing up a human being and swapping that memory shit around. <laughs> His motives are the way that he got here is complex. <laughs> But that fucking angle of approach is from the fucking front door. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her. And Kumakura would have been just to the right out of screen. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, he's to the left, you know, he's just hanging out. Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. He's just chilling out by the bookshelves, but he just like was laying on his side, but like high up, so that way he had the same like general camera angle of like standing height. Hmm. Is there something wrong? But like in such a way that when boss walked in we didn't see boss but then we also saw fucking <laughs> this doesn't make no. sense dude i guess fucking uh, aiba is all about memory fuckery memory suppressive bullshit eh, let's go check out with this guy let's go hang out with renju You guys are trying to give me shit for this whole memory fuckery thing going on, but I'm like, you guys don't know. It's all a simulation. We're in the Matrix. There's no one here. Indeed. The bed is empty. Is Hotel Dusk on the fucking list? Let me check. Hotel Dusk is not on the list. It's getting it. You know what? We're going to scroll over here. Eh. It's on the list. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah, the window! Yeah, no, I clicked there. Where is he? He's not here, as you can see. This doesn't help me! Help me, I don't know where I am. Mr. Okiura's room. I'm certain of it. I'm a nurse. I work here. I'm assigned to Mr. Okiura. You're a serial killer. He snuck out at night. Snuck out. Mr. Okiura arrived with internal injuries. The surgery was successful, but he was in no condition to move. He would have opened up his wounds, and then he would be in real trouble. Real trouble, huh? Yes. I can't yeah. believe it. Where could he have gone? Renju is extremely suspicious. We've actually never seen Renju in person, he which is no great. He has no alibi for the time. He is like the, like the ephemeral man. That was ethereal, the whatever. Yeah, ephemeral works. That's not so strange, though. There's more. I cannot reach Renju by any means. He has not attempted to visit Mizuki in the hospital, even though she is his daughter and witnessed a traumatic event. Despite all this, he runs from the hospital, even with substantial injuries. Perhaps this is an escape. See, Renju is Delta. He's always conveniently out of- He's just like, like, look over here to the right. He's just right off screen, right over here. We just can't see him. He's very unfortunate. He's doing like a Looney Tunes skit where he's like always standing just behind Date. I, uh, <laughs> Every time Dante understand. turns, he like cranes, he like walks around him. Roger that. <laughs> Hello, this is Lemnus Gate Entertainment Offices. Let me hear your message. Thank you. What kind of employee training do they have here? <laughs> <laughs> they're totem pulling. <laughs> they're trying to get to team strat spots. Anyway, I gave them my name and told them about Renju. Do you have any idea where he might be? Uh, sorry. No, 
no clue. I'm trying to get in touch with him, too. So far, nothing. I'm getting worried. He must be a mess right now. Oh, wait. Maybe he's at the Maid Cafe. Maid Cafe? Do you mean Sunfish Pocket? Oh, man, I wonder what's gonna happen here! Yeah, that's the one. Like, out of nowhere, Renji was like, I'm gonna rent out Sunfish Pocket. I guess he was gonna throw, like, a secret party or something? But with the accident and all, still, he might be there. Ooh, not a good maneuver. You see, Renju, it's a common blunder to have uh, done that. You see, that's that's the suicide route, the, the intentionally inflicting the death upon yourself route. He should have been able to predict the future, you know? He wouldn't have died if he hadn't done this. So was I made cafe. Yeah, okay. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Sunfish pocket, huh? It is worth scoping out. And we're off. Can't wait to start seeing weird bear fuckers again. That's my favorite timeline. Zero escape. This doesn't look like anybody in particular. Like, I don't recognize these, like, smaller portrait pictures of people. Like, maybe that'd be VLR, but, like, it doesn't look like anyone. Like, I don't see K or anything. Uh, well, they're also over here. These are the same. This is the same poster, but, like, over here. Yeah, these are definitely not right. So, uh, get fucked, boys. You're just wrong. <laughs> <gasps> He's not murdered. Not Kanan. Welcome home, Sea King. Got a, King? Got a fucking imp oh. impressive ass, uh... <laughs> is this your first time like the here? the hair? Impressive. <laughs> Fours is leaving. Sorry. I'm not here as a customer. <laughs> I need to talk to someone about something. <laughs> Who is this uh, suspicious man? No, no, no. Look more to the right. No, not him. Jeez, kid. Excuse me. <laughs> They're kind of bad. Like, I, I've worked with these guys. I feel bad for her. Like, fuck, dude. I just walked in. Why do you have a trident? Cream soda. Ooh. Omelet right. Eh. I don't know. Adding too much rice kind of fucks with the texture of the omelet, you know? It's not terrible, though. You know? It's funky, too. Man, this place is great when there's not a fucking dead body on the wall. And it's funky, alright! I've already talked about the game, the interior design of this fucking place is fantastic. It's made cafe, so it's kinda like weird, but like... Fuck dude, I gotta respect the hustle. He actually is holding it. Holy shit, he's so powerful. Where's the trident? What's with the trident? It's not a spear. It belongs to Poseidon. God of the sea? You know, a trident? That's used for uh, cooking up fish and getting them out of the water. And that's why they got these prongy bits, because you stab through the water and get them, and that way you can like pull it back without the, the speary bit just uh, getting out of them. Which is weird that, like, it's... Like, I don't think this one has one, but that might just be the angle. I think it might just be why the angle. I think it does have one right there, but... Oh, yeah, we it definitely We treat our does. customers like lords of the sea. We give them these tridents. It's like a little ranking system we do. The color changes depending on your rank. That weather? Is this gold the highest? There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and at the very top, or a calcum. Why would you do this? This just looks tacky at that point. Leave it gold. So it basically measures how much money you've spent on these girls. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. I mean, it's more like a way to exploit their vanity. <laughs> Why would you want to upgrade to the ugly one? To separate our customers from their money as much as possible. Yeah, all right, that's fair. That sounds even worse. <laughs> no, it's pretty accurate. How are you doing? No, he never showed up. When was the last time he came here? Hmm, let me think. Yeah, she's not bad. He's just the owner, not the manager, so... He comes sometimes, but not all that often. 
Did I just x-ray her? I did not intend to x-ray. Gotta get- I must be the bearer of I did not mean for this, but it uh, tells a lot about Date's Even character. Even with x-ray, her clothes will not turn transparent. Your heart rate and blood pressure is rising. The concentration of phenylethylamine in your blood is rising He's into rapidly. bones, dude. What are you excited about? You already know he's into bones. Yeah, fuck it, dude. Respect the respect this man's hustle. That's you don't king shame around customers. here. Us mermaids serve the sea kings. And we really are mermaids, you know. Don't tell anyone. What? Everyone working here is a real mermaid. But you have legs. They were a gift from Poseidon. I, but... Alright. We were given legs and... Rattle feet. me bones! Spin the wheel! So that we can gather riches and foreign currency in the labor market. Tate, let's go. <laughs> no, not yet. She has so much to learn. Do not listen to her siren song. Hello, By I'm the with way, the cops. I didn't introduce myself yet. I'm Konami Date of the Metropolitan Police Department. I was gonna say it was from Ursula, not Poseidon, but alright. You're a detective? Something like that. Not allowed to talk to her anymore. What kind of furniture can you drink? What the fuck did you mean by this? Um, a light beer? Nope. Rice? You can't drink rice. The answer is liquefied leather sofa. How would anyone ever guess that? Can you even drink that? I accidentally clicked the chair. Apparently, I need to investigate fucking everything in this building. This bitch is off her meds and just speaking. I tried it. What's in the box? The severed bottom half of a mermaid. You could have just said the tail. She's fucking into her job, and I gotta at least respect the hustle. Table. Box. I gotta investigate fucking everything so this bitch will comment on it. She's more interesting of a protagonist than Date. Cream soda. Counter. Other mermaid. It's always the back house, you know? They're always, like, very pretty and, like, uptight up here, up in the back. You got a dude who's fucking taking meth and is missing 40 teeth as he's cooking you the best fucking omelet you've ever had in your life. Real row compared to the kitchen. Beer tap. Hey, Ota, buy me a drink? Why? Because beer tastes better if someone else buys it. He's very passionate about you this. don't have to yell. <laughs> See, this is way more interesting when there's a bunch of people to bounce off. That light looks like a jellyfish. Those are cool as fuck, honestly. I'd want this one. I would want this in my room. My room is very fucking barren, but I want a jellyfish light. That's cool as fuck. Like, I would take any of them because they all look cool. <laughs> this is a world of horror now. <laughs> Uh, damn you for fucking typing a message when I'm distracted. Hello, customer. He's on death's door. Let's hope he's not blowing his life savings here. Looks seriously ill. Menu. Cafe menu. Option. On! What is on? Hey, what's on? Fuck. Cafe menu. Now, come on! So... Who's your type, Date? Sorry, but no one stands out to me. I don't go for the spawn. I'm more of a big catch fisherman. Uh, what? I think he's saying he likes older women. <laughs> Again, we don't judge. Milfs are a, t are, a, are a topic. This has been like the one area that you're allowed to have weirdly lewd commentary. And they're not! They're not doing it! They did it once when I x-rayed her. Because I chose to do that. Why has this been the most fucking tasteful area of the game? God damn it. How are you doing, Oda? Because I'm worried about Tessa. Alright. Iris, what's the matter? Yesterday night. Absolutely I will. 
Well, See, I'm opting into it, so which makes it okay. Like, like, if I choose to do it knowing the I consequences, the I know what my actions what will cause. Tessa was streaming, as usual. And then she died. From her living room at home. But suddenly... Actually, let me just show you. I always record her streams. Nip slip? Get banned on Twitch? Did she say the N-word when some dude was Did I click the right option?! nervous it's been a while mm, got it i'll try my best there's a picture on the wall nice that's the man okay everyone please don't here's my debut song no no please let's hit it no go can i, can I start skipping Put this over here. Like, shit. Now we just, uh, there you go. Come on. Stop fighting me. And there we go. Now we got the fucking game doesn't auto pause when I tap out. The joke doesn't work as well because the game's paused. I'm fucking pissed. I, I told you not to answer the fucking door, Iris. He didn't bye. sing anything though. All right, bye. Yeah, ominous. Bones, rattle me bones. Spin the wheel. Her hips. Are you seeing this? <laughs> I'm about to cry tears of joy. Rattle me bones. Do you have a paraphilia for bones? <laughs> I want off the X-ray ride, dude. <laughs> nice, fucking fantastic. We got an achievement. So are you uh, do you waste sure your money am. here regularly? Why are you like this, Oda? I come here whenever I've got time and money. I was here yesterday too. Around 6:30, I think. But I couldn't get in. I saw a sign at the entrance that said the whole place got rented out for some party. But I came all the way to Akihabara, you know? I didn't want to just go home, so I bought a new one. A new what? A phone? I dropped my old one in a puddle, remember? I read his name as Ode. The dyslexic in me is trying to make is trying to belittle this man. One hour into the stream, so about 2 a.m.? That's weird, right? Someone coming to visit at two in the morning, and then she leaves. I don't know, man. Oda's been one of the better characters in the game, just because he's kind of been unabashedly like a fucking sniveling weirdo, but like a person. She looked really serious too. I don't know. Oda's not bad. I was worried about her, so I tried like, to call. He's one of the ones I have answer. the least negative things to say about. Like I've never liked Oda like as a person, but she didn't read any of my Nile messages Just either. Literally, he's like, you didn't read my speed chat, I dude. I thought maybe the people at Sunfish Pocket would know something. Why would they know something? Tessa used to work here. You didn't even read my donation. She made a lot of friends. <laughs> I'm one of them. But I don't know what she's up to. I asked the other girls, too. But no one knows anything. Iba, call Iris. Iba, call those hips. Bones. Call the ribs. The number you are attempting to dial is either offline or unavailable. Thank you. No way. Hmm. Mmm, bones. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. See this, Peter? That's why you're full of shit. Fucking science, man. I already- I told you guys earlier this game was actually about magic. It's trying to get you the fucking- Trying to tell you about technology, no. but this is actually just magic. I wonder if Tessa's okay. I'm so worried about her, I can barely eat. That's fucking weird, dude. 
You look like you can eat just fine. <laughs> can I hurt him? This is why Oda's great, because he's a fucking shithead. Chair. What's with you, Trident? Why do you not I'm have a better one? I'm still cold. Not that good. How much did you spend to get that? Um, about 200,000 yen. Ah, uh, about $2,000. It's not a direct... It's not quite right, because money fluctuates a lot, but a good shorthand is to remove the final two numbers. So, it's 200,000, it's 2,000 American dollary, dollary dues. It's not quite accurate, it's a little off nowadays, but it's close enough. Like, you get a ballpark. I suddenly understand why someone would want to kill another human. No, haven't seen him. Is this related to what happened at Bloom Park? I mean, getting a fucking trident is cool. It's approximate, yeah. The body like, I'm not gonna literally- yeah, You know what? We're Googling it. No, I'm not doing that. It's a lot of effort. I immedi it's immediately regret that decision. I didn't know that I'm she a bad was streamer. Suzuki's I'm sorry, mom? everybody. Did she change her name or something? Yes. Mizuki saw her own mother's dead body, and I just left her there and ran away like a coward. I'm such a piece of shit. I should have stayed. I should have done something. Why did I do that? Oh, no, I just don't care. To... See, Ninja, Ninja can go as hard as he wants on yeah, stupid bullshit, seriously. but I just didn't care. Like, I don't feel the need to prove my fucking- Not again with this! You, there's not even a bite taken out of that! You don't even have a fucking model for there with a piece taken out of that fucking piece of omelet! Why are you giving me this cutscene again? I don't want to watch this! While you're sitting here adding up your options? But you can order too, Date! That's not why I'm mad, Ota. Date, Renju is not at this location. We gotta hang out though. We've got funky search. jams. Yeah, you're right. I always hate because it's. I always never. I always refrain from looking up game OSTs until I've finished with it because I don't want to look up spoilers inadvertently or via thumbnail. And fucking, this reminds me of the game I'm going through right now, Library of Ruina. I've talked about it a few times. The game's OST is so fucking good, and I can't look up any of it! Ah! I'm going to marble. Ah. I never- what did I say there was anything wrong with marble? Well, well, if it isn't Dante! Long time no see. Is something wrong? You're not even wiping that properly. No, I just wanted to talk. About Shoko Nadami, Ren's ex. Ren, meaning Renjo Kiura. You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Oh shit! No, no! Don't tab out of the fucking game. Don't act. Don't. This is a painting of Saint Sebastian. Apparently, I clicked Saint that. Saint Sebastian was a faithful Christian who lived under Roman on January. So I already knew this. I already knew that. Because it had the other place had funky jams. It wasn't. A, holy shit! My eyes. They fucking ended the light bloom on that pretty fucking well. Good shit. You just didn't need to do that. That's like a level of detail you didn't need, and I respect that. Weird that it doesn't like beam down though, but like I, I get it. Ah! So, how you been? I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? I don't see you around here much anymore. I've been busy. You used to come all the time. You and Ren, grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Laughing, drowning each other's sorrows, sometimes getting into arguments. See, look, he's not dead, so now I can see a cutscene of him at this bar. One time, it even became a real fight. You remember that? Really? Oh, yes. You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my- yeah, blew I up? I already knew this one, though. I know about the watch. That was the only- That's why I remember-
Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover, an anniversary gift. Oh, this was, of course, after the divorce. <laughs> Ren was so happy, he showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. Can you give me a glass of water? Mm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. Yeah, very different occupations. <laughs> it's kind of the same. I make people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. I mean, technically, you also do that. You are an informant. You're an information. You're a rumor monger. T quickly, tell me how to buy more weapons. The shock. The stock is poor, but the cheap prices are cheap. Fuck. It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? So, Mama, about the accident. About how he disappeared from the hospital. Oh no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Yeah. They were part of a massive fraud scheme. Really? That's right. And they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the Yakuza gang. So maybe... The Kumakuras killed her? I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. Well, I, I know... I, I know... Oh, neat. I, I know that, but like... Not, ah! Oh, this is, this is new information, but what do I do now? I can't talk to her anymore. Date, what do you call a bottle of beer on your face? Uh, every day. Um, a beard? Why would you do that? <laughs> what do you think this counts? Bars? I do not appreciate your pun. It's fine. See that, I but you're just not invited. This is exactly this is why I was not in Smash. Mama, my goodness. You've changed since I last saw you. You're such a square now. Excuse me, that is a fridge. Ah. <laughs> 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 Uh, and then taking it and fucking like in stride. God damn, Mama. Shoko was involved Good in illegal shit. activities. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. The Kumakuras. Mama's great. They have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. I hope it won't cause problems. And we're oh we're doing this oh shit here we go again. Hey guys, are you ready for the content? Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! The animation for that was still terrible. Like, there was no weight to any of it. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Yeah, their budget can't account for everything. This is why they never showed violence on screen before. They should go back to the olden days of using like so, fucking drawn art. Like nine nine nine, the game looked the great. Is doing in my office. I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's Moma, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, Moma. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko? 
Well, just your damn, I've already seen this. Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuck. Can't help but. I have no idea what you're talking. You must have gotten. Don't know nothing. I know her face. Yeah, but I can't skip none of it. <laughs> the chairman is right. What? I. That. The chair. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. Date, wait, I did some research. He left. Seuss. But Mama did not. Mama took. Six. Fuck, why were we. Date. A thermograph from when you were here. Buddy to me. And yeah, the, the fucking thermograph shit, but this is the part that adds that. That's just so fucking weird that they have that instead of just having it be just like a lie detector. You know? Black man. Black. Find his weakness. Let's examine the root. Perhaps we may discover. I cannot. Marvelous. What? Marvelous Marvel. Marvel! Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. That is a tiger. Man, I'm just fucking looking at Marvel. I'm like, god damn. Why have we never done, like, anything with Terraria for any of our co-op stream days? That game's so much fucking fun, dude. God damn. fuck do I do? Don't I, like, how do I, I looked at the ashtray before, how the fuck do I, do I need to talk to you? I got nothing to say. There would be no... But... Do you I'm think that pulls it? What would be the... Look at the ass? No. The Kumakura... Oh. Dude. Yeah, I don't think we were supposed to see this. There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw in Matsushita Diner. An ace of figure. I don't think we were supposed to have seen that. Correct. But why is that there? Unknown. But perhaps. Hey. You wouldn't happen to be a fan of Ace, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as n never being a pussy shit like that, you fucker. Fears. Upset? Uh, regret? He said. Water. Wet? Uh, sweat? He said. He said you bet. This is very stupid. Shadows. Threat. A silo. Just as I thought. Boss? Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! Yes, yes sir. This, this is very stupid. Like, this is. I, I, I guess this is remarkably stupid. Why does everything that happens in this fucking office be like the worst part of the game? Why do the Yakuza suck? I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Why the fuck this is Kuma this Kuma the Kuma thing Kuma that Kuma works the and Uji not, Saki. you know, they pulled a gun on me and tried to kill me? The Ujisaki family runs a year. We were all at the tournament. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. Dante, at the hotel, they were also. It is not including. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this world. But he's got the suicide. Yeah. About 20 years, both he and I. The Ujisakis are. At the time, we were in a turf. One day, one of their. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. Actually, the doctors yeah. say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawn a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for Moma. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him. 
Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other, in most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. That's cool, I didn't know that. Mama just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Dude, I'm right brain. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. And then it just whoops, there I go. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he he became cold blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. From the toe to the thigh. Totally blank expression. Like he was scraping bonito flakes. Anyway. Sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. That's cool, though. About six years ago, I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat. He didn't give me the detail. I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Justified. Maybe they were right, you know. His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. The company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. Told Mama about Renju's accident. About his disappearance from the hospital. Do you know where he is? Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Hey, Moma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. In exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAP. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. Really? Yeah. You promise? Yeah, I This promise. is still very stupid. Like, like, everything. I don't want to. Uh, How did you know? You're hiding an ASAP figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAP fan. Really? That information might come in handy later. Let's go somewhere else, Iva. We got what we needed here. Alright. Well, just like before, I think that'll be a decent time to cut it off. Unfortunately. I had to start going for three hours nowadays because I gotta get fucking lunch ready and I gotta take a shower before work. But, because I had to start 30 minutes. I was gonna save. Yeah, I know.
We made. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Did I did I hit the wrong button? No, 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 please. Because Scion needed me to wait. That'll be fine. Once we finish up Persona 2, this will get bumped up to the main slot, so we'll fucking fly through this game at that point. But this is a short bitch stream, and everyone can blame Scion for being a right-brained nerd. Anyway, have a good rest of your day, everybody. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. And have a good rest of your day, everybody.